An asteroid will come close to Earth, but how close? What's going on, guys? Make K Electric. It is Friday, the 26th, February 2016. Happy Friday. As promised, here's the asteroid information. Now, this rock is going to make a close flyby on March 5th, 2016. Let me give you this article from National Geographic. Uh, a small asteroid currently hurling towards Earth, and NASA says there w there's essentially no chance of an impact, but it could be a close shave. Asteroid 2013 TX-68 is expected to swing by our planet on March 5th, 2016. Now look at this. It could pass with a distance of 9 million miles, which is a comfortable 30 times, 35 times farther than the moon. Or it could come as close as 11,000 miles. That would be half the altitude of our ge geosynchronous satellites. So because this thing is supposedly coming in in, in the sun's glare, they can't get a proper track on it. Now if you scroll down a little bit, it says the size of this... Asteroid is about 100 feet or 30 meters wide. That would make it 50% larger than the one that blew up over Russia a few years back. Everybody remember that? Did tons and tons of damage, lots of broken glass, craziness, injured a lot of people. Uh, in no way a planetary killer, but, you know, if it happened to survive the atmosphere and landed on a populated area, I mean, it could be a hell of a mess, or if it landed in the ocean, we could have a tsunami problem. I'll put this link. It goes on detailed information. I'll put a link to the JPL orbit diagram that you're looking at right now. So I got it uh, set up. February 26, 2016, current date. Uh, we're zoomed all the way in. Let's go forward here a little bit. Now, the light blue and dark blue is where it breaks the ecliptic with the Earth. And, I mean, as long as I have been doing these, I mean, you see the, the, the mist distance there, although they are. Let me check the, uh, the condition code is an 8. Now, 9 can be the worst. 9 means highly uncertain. 0 means very certain. The condition code sits at an 8. So... They, they really they, they could say that this thing's not going to hit the Earth all day long, but they admit that they, they can't properly track this thing because of its position. So let's see if we can pull these apart. Uh, let me take off the planet label and the object label. We're zoomed all the way in. You might want to put it on HD and blow it up. As long as I have been doing this, I've never seen one this close. I mean, this is extremely close. If we put it on hourly, uh, let's see here, one hour increments. I mean, this is going to be a close call. Like I say, not a planetary killer, but I'm always looking for stories that might explain some of the weird stuff going on right now. And um, I'll put a link to this diagram. You can play with it if you want. I can't pull them apart. You tell me. A lot of weird news going on. We have a supposedly dead Supreme Court justice. Judge died or he went underground or was murdered, you know, whatever speculation. We also have, I got a few links I want to give you here. A huge fireball crashed into the Atlantic Ocean earlier this month and went almost unseen. This event took place on February 6, 2016, when a meteor exploded in the air 620 miles off the coast of Brazil. Now, it goes on to talk about how this kind of stuff happens all the time, but still, I think it's interesting to note. Also, look at this, same day, Indian man could be first recorded human, fatally due I'm sorry, fatality due to meteorite. The same day, meteorite supposedly kills someone um, in India. You know, I'll put a link to this. I think it's uh, still pending verification, but it happened on the same day, so just some space junk coming in. I don't know. We got one from the mirror. Now, Supreme Court justice dead, allegedly. That's the official story anyway. This comes out from the mirror. Pregnant secretary of Pope Francis found dead in her Rome apartment. Secretary of the Pope, dead in her Rome apartment. Is that a cover story? Is she headed underground? you got to go back and watch the movie 2012, because you remember, you know, prominent people were disappearing here and there under the guise of cover stories. Maybe this is connected, maybe it's not. I'll put a link to it. Take it for what you will. Now, GLP thread, information only. This is just what someone posted. Could be BS, could be related, maybe not. Very important inside intel from Saudi Arabia. The wealthy are leaving and communications are being restricted. I'll put a link to the thread. You know, it's just some what someone heard from somebody over there. You can take it with a grain of salt. I'll also put a couple videos below. Shout out to Frankie McDonald. He did a video on this. Asteroid 2013 TX-68 heading in Saturday, March 5th, 2016. And uh, let's see, Nemesis, Nemesis Maturely, Maturity, I guess is the name of the channel. They did a video uh, with uh, in-depth data coverage, about five minutes long. I'll put a link to that as well. Now, tell me what you think, guys. I mean... If a catastrophic event, you know, I'm always looking for something to happen, especially when people are disappearing in the mainstream media. You know, we got the perfect distraction going on right now with the election crap. If the elite knew there was a catastrophic event, you know they wouldn't tell us, but I'm always looking out for it. This is in no way a planetary killer, but just something to be aware of. Please tell me your thoughts. Please rate the video. Please pass it around. Make people aware. Incoming asteroid March 5th, 2016. 
Will it come in? Will it burn up in the atmosphere? Will it hit a populated area, hit the ocean? I don't know. Just FYI, you guys take care, stay safe. I will see you on the next one.